What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another Brood War ladder cast. We've got Flash over here in the top right hand corner. A motive down in the bottom right and I want to see it. I want to see it Flash. Let me see it. Is he back or is he not? It's almost exactly one month ago that we uh, watched a very long series between motive and flash and let's just say that did not go well for him link over here at the top right of the screen if you want to check out that series it was like six games or something like that and spoiler alert if you haven't clicked that yet spoiler alert motive won every single game six games in a row and had flash asking him like how do you play this matchup like what am i supposed to be doing here he was asking him questions at the end like uh, i'm missing something what's going on and motive was happy to let him know that uh, his old style the way that he was playing back then uh, one month ago is just not the way that uh they're doing it in the modern age he's not the not quite hip to the new meta in this matchup and he was letting him know Let's see if Flash has internalized any of that discussion. He does know that this is Motive. Flash knows this is Motive. Motive knows this is Flash. Nobody's on an unsecure barcode account or like a, 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 a yeah, an unknown barcode account. They're completely aware of each other. They haven't said anything to each other yet. If they start to chat, chit chat, I will try to get a translation up on the screen for you. Uh, as per usual, but here we go. We've got a gas as fast expand once again for Flash. You know, we watched a video just a couple of days ago, or I made a video a couple of days ago where I won't put that one up, but uh, we watched with Bisu, and he never went for um, or for against Snow, excuse me, and against Snow, he never went for gas as fast expand but it still seems to be in his retinue like he's not uh thrown out this style of play he's absolutely still capable of doing it but will it work against motive who's opened here with just a very stock standard dragoon plus range opener flash is going to spot that he will be heading back home motive finally going to find his opponent but with the cc already done and a bunker in the front looks like the cc just barely not quite done as the the uh, probe arrives but look at that he's got one marine in there he's completely safe he doesn't need to produce another marine just yet dragoon is on the way we'll have to try and block this at least you don't want to allow the dragoon to just run by um probably he will bring the dragoon up just to check and see if there's a cc there but you know what with the timing of all this, there's no way that this could be like a two factory play. So he probably won't even need to do that. The factory just behind that. No, you actually you do need to see this. Do you not? Let me see. Yeah, he has no idea. All he, he just comes forward and sees a bunker. It could be a two factory play. Maybe he's just trusting that it's not. It's a little bit scary, but motive. He's just going to keep pumping out Dragoons. He finishes the plus one. He's going to come and take that Protoss tax. One Dragoon heading out in kind of a random direction. Just checking to see if he can find an, uh, an extra SCV on the map. He's not going to. But it's a good thought. Here comes that tax. Only two Marines in the bunker. Flash is cutting everything that's unnecessary. Making his build as perfectly um, efficient as possible you can see just two SCVs there on the bunker brings the barracks forward as well we've got a tank on the way this is just enough space for tanks to move out and so the tanks will actually pop and turn directly and come down this ramp this is a very good placement for these tanks uh, even if something's blocking here, you can still move around this way. Really good placement here from Flash. Gonna get these tanks down to the front. 
as quickly as possible and before the third dragoon arrives as well now can hide the tank underneath this bunker but are the the barracks here but he's not going to instead putting it in the perfect spot so it's very difficult to gun down by these three dragoons and getting that siege mode now let's see if he unseizes and backs up because he's been doing that a lot in the games that i've watched like he pushes back the dragoons and then he moves the tank to like right there to make it even harder for anything to jump on top of it he's not going to do it this game that's interesting i thought that might have been like one of the the little ticks of flash that he does that every single game but not going to repeat in this one we got two gateways now we've got observers and a third base on the way clearing just making sure that there's no mines or anything over here nothing to block a potential fourth base and he's gonna start to move out with these vultures before the speed upgrade is done looks like motive kind of missed that i don't think he even saw these vultures move out otherwise he definitely would have reacted um that could be a really serious thing or it could be you know no problem at all I know that if Zealots run by your Zerglings in ZVP, it can be incredibly painful. But there we go. He does see the Vultures out on the map now with that one Dragoon. Oh, he's going to start to run back home, but this mine. Oh, no. Okay. Oh. All right. One mine connects. Oh. Okay. That could have been really bad. We could have seen, like, all three Dragoons go down, but mitigates disaster there by... Uh, just a clicking, I guess. <laughs> Pretty lucky. Motive gonna hang on to most of those dragons, or all of those dragons, actually, uh, with just some hull damage going down onto one. Um, not gonna be punished for his mistake. Get a bit of that Protoss privilege, that pretty privilege that the Protoss do enjoy. Moving forward now to try and take this third base. This is pretty wild. We're going up to one, two, three, four, five, six. We hiding more factories somewhere? No. I mean, do we have on the way two more on the way? Okay. He's getting up to five, six factories. And off of six factory, he's not going to go directly into plus two. This is exactly what Motive was talking to him about. Is that in today's day and age, in today's meta, in PVT, we're just going to stay on plus one attack, get the plus one armor, go to five or six factory, take our third base, and put some pressure on the Protoss. Um, it's different than the older style that Flash was utilizing initially, where he was going into just a few factories, trying to get that third out, and get a bunch of upgrades at the same time. It's just not possible any longer with the... Uh, skill of Protoss uh, that has gone up so much. You know, the control with shuttles, Reavers, Templar, uh, Zealots and Dragoons, they just get on top of you and pull you apart too quickly. And so going for all those upgrades, uh, no longer in favor anymore. Ooh, he gets a big volley onto these reavers and look at how much damage they've taken already that is a bit rough for motive i can tell you it's not going well so far flash is doing everything perfectly he's taken no damage he got away with the build exactly what he wanted to do he's playing the modern meta and he's pushing forward here with confidence that i don't know if motive will be able to stop this setting up once again moving forward further that was the first shot from that reaver and it only damages one tank Bringing it down to about half HP. Little counterattack of Dragoons over here on the left-hand side. But that's being stopped by two tanks and some mines. Perfect push so far from Flash. Can Motive find a way to pull it apart? It's not looking good right now. Motive is gathering up a lot more resources than he actually needs. 900 resources in the bank. He doesn't really have the gateway count to keep up with Flash right now. This is almost flawless six factory play from him i'm a bit surprised that he didn't want to go into a third base but he is playing like sick sick good uh, aggressive terran play right now just very very solid we've got 
A shuttle coming over here. Gonna start to zealot bomb a few things. But everything unseaging right now. Ooh, great shot there from the Reaver, killing two tanks. But is it going to be enough? We are now on the high ground above the third. Look at all the floating buildings coming forward here. Genius play. Absolute genius play from Flash. Just kill these mines and slowly inch forward, and it should be good to go. I mean, he should be able to trade it as perfectly as you could hope. A lot of Zealots are out. But we've got Protoss on two base waiting for that third Nexus to finish. He's going to run by right now into the natural. Does get eaten up a lot of his army or a lot of his vultures by these Reavers, unfortunately. And the army of Motive goes all the way around. He's going to counter attack. Which could be potentially a, a big problem for Flash. But let's see how this goes. I think Flash is expecting something coming from behind. He just scanned somewhere. Was it right here? Maybe. He might have just seen the army going around. Some vultures going to make their way over here. Tanks are pushing in. But the counterattack is real. He has to hold this. Uh, in addition to holding the position outside the natural. If he wants to win right now. He's pushing in towards this natural. And Motive is getting ready to assault the position. Can he get in here and break this? Flash is attacking into the natural. We'll go picture in picture as the Protoss army gets turned away. Very easy hold here from Flash. Meanwhile, breaking in towards this natural. He's starting to kill probes. We've got one Reaver here that should be able to deal some damage to these vultures. He picks off the vultures at least. And the Goliaths. But can he come from behind and clear this tank army? It's looking like he might be able to do it. That's a lot of zealots. Hey, this could be a return from motive. He's going to drop on top of the tanks. He loses the reaver, but the dragons should be able to clear all the rest of this up. The problem is the next round of units that's coming across the map right now from Flash. Uh, he will lose all of the turrets and this great position that he set up. But he's still got more tanks and vultures coming. He's got a wave of vultures right behind this it's gonna hit this small dragoon and zealot army and maybe break through it gg is called yeah motive cannot hold on any longer he's got no defenses over here to keep these probes alive if the dragoons end up going down well executed attack by flash you can see that he's been taking notes and learning his lessons versus motive in those past games and Versus all these Protoss players he's been hitting on the ladder. And he's starting to dominate like he did in the past. We've got one more game to take a look at before we go. So let's jump into game number two with Motive versus Flash coming right up. Well, it seems like Motive is used to having Flash allow him plenty of time to push across the map or to build up his base count get into a good macro position before uh, a Terran move out comes and didn't seem like he anticipated that six factory push and so getting caught a little bit off guard motive gets taken out with relative ease uh, flash the push was basically flawless you can't really do a push quite like that against a player the caliber of snow though um you can do it, but you're going to lose tanks, right? You need the anti-air to pick off the shuttles. It seemed like Motive was just not quite on top of those shuttles with everything else that was going on. Uh, he barely got any damage with the Reaver. He hardly slowed down the attack at all. And in the end, the Reavers only served to kill Vultures as they were like breaking in through the natural. They really didn't slow down that tank attack. Um, and the Six Factory was successful. Now pulling off of the gas here... Flash is going to get a factory as quickly as he can and a CC uh, as fast as humanly possible thereafter. You can see putting every single SCV onto minerals right now. He will be uh, executing a vulture expand in this game and he might be able to pick off this probe. The probe actually got two hits on the Marine and then will back off. So that's a little bit of a win for motive that damage is not going to go anywhere and it helps the dragoon to kill the marine in just three hits rather than four so that could come into effect uh in the future but it's not guaranteed to uh, have any big impact on this game and especially with the bunker being started this early flash realizes 
I don't actually have that many Marines. A lot of players will go and build three Marines and then a Vulture and try to hold off the first Dragoon with that force. Flash feeling more confident with just the earlier bunker and less Marines. He just wants to build two. Uh, maybe he has it queued up in his mind, right? Like you can see he can't really produce anything right now. He doesn't have any money. He has it all exactly lined up so that now he starts another supply depot. He can start an SCV here and he shouldn't be halted on SCV production at all. Like if he had another Marine, he wouldn't be able to produce this next SCV. So this is all really well thought out stuff. I think from Flash you can see he's going to get his mines upgrade. He can't afford to make because of his supply block. Can't afford to make a, another Vulture. But as soon as that supply depot is done, he starts his next SCV and the Vulture at the same time. Everything looking pretty decent right now. The Vulture kind of sharking around the map, looking for an opportunity to run in. Hasn't taken uh, a chance there in the natural just yet. We do not have range on the way. It's going to be ga a rangeless um, into a robo. So rangeless robo. Interesting choice from Motive. I think he's going to go as quickly up into a Reaver as he possibly can. Let's see if that's the case. Okay, Observatory instead. Wait, what's this rangeless? Did he get the range? He must have gotten range. I wasn't paying attention. I was watching the beautiful opener here from Flash. I apologize, guys. He must have gotten range already. Let's see if that attacks. That doesn't look like range. Okay, maybe he does have range. Maybe he does have range. That was uh, that was a pretty long shot. Um, he's not hitting the bunker or anything, so it's a little bit hard to tell. But since there's still no range at this point, I feel like we must have it. It must be there. No chance he missed range. Um, <laughs> that would be such a noob move. Uh, if that's the case, I mean, motive would have to be... We would have to say he's tilted from that last loss, right? Um, if he indeed missed that range upgrade, but I don't think that's the case. A Nexus is about to come down. We've got an armory on the way for Flash. Um, vultures are out on the map. They've got speed. The rain or the uh, entrance to the natural is blocked, though. If he had one Dragoon on that ramp, he could have killed every single Vulture in this pack. But unfortunately, he does not have that. And so the Vultures will escape uh, with their lives. They've already laid their mines, though, so their lives are not worth much. Oh, this one actually has two mines left. Most of these are out of mines. I clicked the one Vulture with two mines. That's funny. Some turrets are coming up. Flash is making sure that he won't take any damage from a potential Reaver. But I don't think there actually is one at this moment. Pushes all the way up to the natural. But not going to start hitting this bunker with three tanks behind that. It's not going to be viable. So, three, four vultures over here. Oof, he's leaving the entrance open. That's scary. Leaving the entrance open with the vultures right there. That is frightening. Oh, does he one mine? Vultures are going to run by. Can he block this? Here we go. Some probes coming to transfer. They're going to get picked off very quickly. Good play here from Flash. Dealing a little bit of damage. Oh. Oh, no. That is unfortunate. Motive bringing his forces back to defend. He didn't bring the Observer with him, though, and walks into a mine. He loses two Dragoons. Big damage there for the first couple of Vultures. He's even going to bring these back and repair. Are you kidding me? What is this? Kind of a perfectionist is this man. He's lost like two vultures the entire game so far. He's going to bring back the other two and repair them. How many kills do they have? One and zero. I guess one of those mines was courtesy of one of the dead vultures. He gets a purple heart for his bravery. And these two, for all of their valor, going to be sent back out into the front line. Let's see how long they survive. Well, that one's not going to survive. 
<laughs> for very long. Oh, man. That's funny. Right out to the front line <laughs> and into the arms of these dragoons. The four legs of those destructive dragoons in their phase. What is it called? Disruptors. Now, this is looking like a repeat of last game with six factory play again. Flash is going to do it to him twice in a row. But what do we have back at home? One, two, three, four, five. We only have six gateways for ourselves, and they're not even done yet. So two Reavers are going to have to do a lot of heavy lifting in this game. We don't have any anti-air. So technically, these should be able to get a lot of kills. Oh my god. Okay, that was good. That was very good. That was already better than last game. Um, really nice bringing up the SCVs already to keep these repaired. I like it. Two Goliaths in the mix is going to start to push forward uh, with those units. Can he get another shot on these vultures? Tanks get more free damage on the Reavers. Setting up some mines in the back lines. Flash trying to catch some dragoons that are retreating. SCV is being brought forward once again. Going to repair this other tank. No drop there for motive. He probably could have gotten a shot off with those tanks, but he's pushing forward now. A wide rank, uh, line of dragoons, but the Reavers only getting a single shot, and it goes down. He managed to kill one tank there, and that is it. So two tanks is all that... Uh, he's managed to get so far finally the speed on the shuttles finishes can he come in here and drop get some friendly fire on these tanks drop a zealot in the middle of all this let's see if he can make it happen zealots being dropped in kind of a weird location there's the reaver but it goes down instantly oh great target there from flash just crushing that attack and here he comes towards the natural you have to imagine that Motive is feeling pretty tilted right now with 1,200 minerals in the bank. He has not been able to play his game. And he is definitely... Uh, Flash is definitely under his skin at this point, I think. Like, we're seeing the Six Factory for the second time. And once again, Motive just didn't have enough gateways to stop this. And he still doesn't have Zealot Speed either. So not having the necessary tools to deal with that. He's not able to get the last shot off with the Reaver either. Oh my goodness. That is a tilter. Motive going to lose this game even more brutally than the first. Flash is getting more efficient as time goes on. And this is a testament, guys. This video is a love letter to the return of Flash. We've been watching him struggle in this matchup for some time now against both Motive uh, and Snow, but he has recently proven himself against both of those strong Protoss opponents. Really, Snow, such a titan in the matchup. The ability to take him down, incredibly impressive, but still really, really solid wins here against Motive, who he was not able to beat. Again, 0-6 and six against this man just one month ago and here he is absolutely running it down against him no communication be between these two other than gg motive maybe needs to ask for some tips at this point because flash certainly wasn't uh, embarrassed to ask for any and uh <laughs> maybe he's regretting <laughs> telling flash what he needed to do because uh <laughs> this was pretty rough anyways guys that's it for this video thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one